Hi, my name is Bill Weiss. You know, some people say God is mean for making hell, and even sadistic for allowing someone to suffer for all eternity. But remember, the God you are accusing of being mean is the same God that died a horrible death on the cross to keep us out. What more would you want him to do? Secondly, you wouldn't say the leaders of our country are mean for constructing prisons. No, it's our choice. We don't have to go there. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 25, 41, that hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. He never intended for man to go to this horrible place. It was prepared for the devil. But the reason hell is so terrible is because God has removed his goodness or his attributes from hell. You see, James 1.17 says every good and perfect gift comes down from above from the Father of the lights. So all the good we enjoy in life comes from God. It's not automatic. So what God did in the, in the preparation was he simply removed his goodness. You see, hell is dark because 1 John 1.5 said God is light. There's only death in hell because John 1.4 said God is life. There's only hatred in hell because 1 John 4.16 said God is love. There's no mercy in hell because Psalms 36.5 says the mercy of the Lord is in the heavens. There's no strength in hell because Psalms 18.32 said it's the Lord that gives us strength. There's no water in hell because Deuteronomy 11.11 says water is the rain of heaven. And there is no peace in hell because Isaiah 9, 6 says, He is the Prince of Peace. So you see, if God removes His goodness or His attributes, all the good goes with Him. You can't separate the two. You can't have the good without God. So if a person says, you know, I don't want anything to do with God, well, then there is a place prepared that has nothing to do with Him. Now, other than one thing, the fire in hell does represent God's wrath. He pours out His wrath on sin. But God poured out His wrath on Jesus on the cross so that you and I wouldn't have to take that wrath. But if you deny Jesus, then you have to take the punishment. It's your choice. So before you accuse Him falsely, you may want to read the Bible and find out just how loving of a God He truly is. Revelation 21.8 says, all unbelievers will have their part in the lake of fire. So if you say, you know, I don't believe the Bible, well, God just told us where we will all end up as unbelievers. So you can see why Jesus said in Matthew 12, 37, our own words condemn us. We send ourselves to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and not by repenting of our sins. You may want to think about this now because one second after you die, it'll be too late. You have to choose now while you have the opportunity.